Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll be setting up a reverse proxy in two separate but similar ways. The first is Next.js rewrites, and the second is Vercel rewrites. Both of them provide a reverse proxy that allow you to send events and other data from your own domain, making it less likely it's blocked by tracking blockers. And I'm going to show you how to set both of these up in this video. So to start, we have a basic Next.js site here with Posthog installed into it. And you see when we refresh, we send some events to Posthog, this app.posthog.com URL, and we can check Posthog, we'll refresh here, and we'll see we have a couple new page view events here. We want to change this domain here to our own domain so that it's less likely to be blocked by trackers. So the first way we can set up a reverse proxy is using the Next.js config file to add a rewrite in here. So we can add a function here that's async rewrites, and then this returns a list of rewrites we want. So the rewrite we want is the source is going to be slash ingest, and then this is just all paths on this ingest file. So we're going to eventually set our domain as this, and then we'll send post hog events to this domain route and then rewrote to the destination, which is going to be HTTPS forward slash forward slash app.posthog.com. If you're using EU, this should be eu.posthog.com. And we'll just save this, and then we need to deploy it to Vercel and then we'll get our link, and then we can use that link to replace this app.postdoc.com API host, and I'll just show you how to do that right now. So you see we have our Vercel app here. You can see the live version of it here. We'll just copy that domain. It's building here, but while we wait, we can go back to our app and we can replace this with our domain slash ingest which is what we set here, the ingest path. So we'll just wait for it to deploy. And it looks like it's successfully deployed there. So we'll save this. We're going to have to deploy this change again. So we'll just commit this change, change URL. Yes. Okay. And now we'll wait for this change URL to be deployed again. Now that it's deployed, we can refresh our production app. We can go into the network tab and we'll see that it's sending to the ingest URL that we set up. And now when we refresh again, we can go to post hog and we should see some new events come in here. So this is a few seconds ago. So just to prove it, we can click on the docs button here and we'll close that out and then we will just refresh again and in a few moments we should see a auto capture click event so there it is we have the clicked event so this is a reverse proxy set up using next.js we can do basically the exact same thing using vercel if you wanted to use vercel instead of next.js we can create a vercel.json file and this is just going to be a dictionary. Rewrites, it also takes a, a list of rewrites. And so this is going to be very similar to the one we just set up. It's going to be source, and this source is going to be slash ingest slash match, and we're gonna match all the routes. We'll do ingest two to uh, change it up to show that it's different. And then destination, this destination will also be HTTPS forward slash forward slash app.posthog.com. And we're going to match as well here. So we'll save this. And while we're at it, we'll also change this to ingest two. We'll save that and then we'll deploy all of this or we'll commit all of this. So. We're committing the Vercel stuff. Yes. Okay. We'll go back to our app here. 
And now that it's all set up, we can go to our Next.js app. We'll refresh again, and now we'll see that we're requesting the Vercel app ingest to event here, and we'll refresh a couple of times. We'll click the templates button to get another link click, and then we'll go back to post hog and we'll refresh. We'll see some new events coming in right away. And we have the second link click there. So that's another way to set up a reverse proxy using Vercel. So that's all for this video on how to set up a reverse proxy using Next.js and Vercel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this and to find more tutorials, check out posthog.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.